In this tutorial, we're taking a look at Icarus version 1.6 from Tone 2. This is the last release of version 1, and you'll find a discounted upgrade path exists should you want to move up to the latest version 2.5. Icarus from Tone 2 is a super flexible and highly editable wavetable synth with a straightforward layout. It's easy to program, sounds great, and comes packed with over a thousand presets. It features three oscillators, two filters, four envelopes, three regular LFOs, and one step LFO, with further sound shaping from three effects modules and output EQ. There's also an 18 slot modulation matrix, 32 step arpeggiator, and if you like editing, then each oscillator can be modified using the waveform, spectrum, or phase editors. Much like other Tone 2 synths, Icarus uses a single window layout with all features easily accessible and plenty of drop down menus. This is supplemented by full window screens where required. Try selecting the oscillator edit button top center or the browser button on the far left and you'll see what we mean. To get a feel for its capabilities, why not open the browser and take a spin through the available presets. With over 1,000 categorized presets organized into both functional and instrument folders, Icarus offers plenty of ready-made starting points. It also includes a folder of 40 handy preset templates. Here we've selected SuperSaw JP8000. This provides the bare bones with just one SuperSaw oscillator active, a small amount of detune, and one high pass filter. Nevertheless, this provides a great starting point for many popular sounds. Icarus, much like other wavetable synths, provides incredible flexibility to shape the sound from the ground up. Let's take a look at how the wavetable oscillators work and how we can edit and manipulate them. To get started, we've loaded up the wave shaping template. This simple template helps demonstrate wavetables in Icarus, and the first thing to spot as you play a note is that the wave is changing over time. This is because the waveform is being morphed and this in turn is being controlled by LFO2. For the time being, adjust the LFO2 amount just below the morph control to its center position so there's no morphing. If you now play a sound, you should just hear a sine wave. This is because the loaded wavetable is saw square sine from the basic folder. The currently playing wave is selected using the wave knob. Try turning this knob and you'll see the wave switches from sine to square to saw. Select Edit, and you'll see the three waves in the wavetable. Aside from access to each of these three basic waveforms, this wavetable doesn't exploit the power available. Particularly bearing in mind, the wavetable can hold up to 256 different waveforms. Using the oscillator drop-down menu, we can load a more complex wavetable. We've selected Square PWM. Open the Edit screen, and you can see there are over 100 waveforms in our loaded wavetable. LFO1 is hardwired to the wave control in each oscillator. Try modulating movement through the wavetable by turning up the LFO1 amount just below the wave knob. Returning to the edit screen, Icarus has three different edit screens, waveform, spectrum, and phase, and allows you to edit individual waveforms or apply editing functions to multiple waveforms. Here we've used the FM sort by value option to transform all the waveforms. 